Welcome to the uh, festive conga room. I didn't write it. <laughs> Sir? 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 Oh, here it comes. Here it goes. Wait for it. Wait for it. Ma'am. Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> the greatest in ring performer that ever lived. Okay. It killed my gimmick there. The, stop the woo shit. Wait, kid, uh, before you say that, and I know we all want to hear it, there's a gentleman here who didn't get to talk about what WrestleMania meant to him. He <laughs> saved me for last. I know. I'm the show stop. Mick is called Hot Tag. Oh, I'm sorry. I you let me book the match it. here? <laughs> Work with us, Mick. He, he you know, there's a bunch of people out he, here. He, he, he thought nervous. you were forget about okay, me. Okay, I thought Says you Mick screwed up my hot tag in my big moment. <laughs> With his JR Peripheral isn't the best I, in the world, I, I but felt, surely he sees Ric Flair over there. I He's felt, building I was waiting. Mick. What was this? We're trying to build the thing up. Mick, I, calm I, down. I, 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 you I, don't blew the hot tag. I felt Go in my over on with some thumbtacks and don't I, interfere, okay? I, mean, I felt, I felt like we had we'd forgotten Rick, and I wanted we to make sure it didn't happen. You talk, right, we got the greatest bad. announcer in the history of the business running this show. And he's gonna forget about Rick Flair. I'm trying to do the right thing, Dan. Relax, it. kid. <laughs> when Relax. we got Mick in those double knits out of those sweatpants, something happened. Chicks in New York are paying top dollar for that stuff. Nate, you think I'm not prepared? You think I just showed up, Mick, and sweats for the hell of it? Where do I come to the? Where, where's that show? Where's that show again tomorrow night? Come on, help me. The improv tickets are still available. Yeah, where well, like the, no, the, no, like the improv tomorrow something. night? I'm going to open up a comic can of whoop ass on you, you at go. the improv tomorrow night. I was Chief trying Buck. to give Rick the hot tag. Here. Nate. <laughs> You're not calling this match, You're Mick. You're not in the match. Do you not wow. understand that? I'm You're leaving the match. You're not calling this match. All right, he'll be, he'll be back. He's got to go to the bathroom. He'll be back in a minute. I've been in Japan 69 times. 69 times. Okay, no, there's no subliminal information on that 69. <laughs> Actually, my biggest match, though, was against Shawn Michaels. Uh, uh, that's okay. We're gonna get to that. You know, my Shawn Michaels match when I retired, I got, I got inducted in the Hall of Fame and got retired the next day. And, it's uh, today Shawn Michaels Day from huh? the writer. That's the big finish. What's that? You're killing my finish here. Oh, I'm sorry. And then, of course, another big moment was... They know it's a work! <laughs> hey, hey, what are you making reference to? It was me, Dave Batista, and Randy Orton, WrestleMania, uh, the 20th anniversary, yeah, yeah. against him and The Rock. Are you kidding? We stole it. Are you shit me? Nobody could follow that shit. You think Goldberg did it? I mean, give me a break. <laughs> Nobody could follow that match. Are you kidding me? The Rock was doing this shit, I was doing my shit, Mick was rolling on the thumbtacks, we stole it. <laughs> but, but, as usual, we lost. <laughs> we got in trouble for doing the uh, Sean and Rick kind of reference already. But, no, uh... No, go ahead, do what you want. Say what you want to say, I don't give a shit. In that case... Uh, um, it was the dream match for anybody. And the thing of it is, I'm so easy to beat. I haven't won a match ever. <laughs> So I would have just gone out there and taken the big leg. You know, Hogan just had let seven back surgeries in the last year and a half, right? So I go to him, you never fell down in the ring from dropping a leg on everybody. True story. <laughs> he never fell down, ever. With me, I don't think I ever gave him a flying mare. Nice. All right. That's, uh, I'd like to thank so, Greg um, Goose for sponsoring this portion of the broadcast. <laughs> But I go to I go, I go to uh, I go to Cena. I said, "You're the world champion. You gotta buy drinks." You know? He said, "I don't drink." I said, "Good luck with that shit." <laughs> and, and we yeah, stole it, brother. We, we stole, we stole it twice. Times. We stole, stole it at SummerSlam for <laughs> WWE. And we stole it for that company, whatever it's called, TNA. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Mick said uh, Mick said to me, "That won't make the edit." No, no, hey, hey, no, I, I don't care. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, Bret Hart. Do we have to do that? <laughs> Sorry, Brett, yeah. <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> don't, don't get me going. Anybody that let me hit him knows it's grill. 
Time to go to Kill the Grey Goose. Are you going to have time for this one? Kill me. All right, how about we... Ask Flair... No. no, 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 no <laughs> yes. Hey, okay. Ask me more. Question for Flair. Daniel I'm a wealth of entertainment. Daniel. I Daniel Bryan. Is up, JR. Save my ass. <laughs> Soundbite. If you could pick out any WrestleMania opponent, who would it be? Daniel Bryan. Who's your dream opponent at WrestleMania? I, I honestly feel like I don't belong up here. <laughs> Hey, 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 Daniel, Daniel, hey, Daniel, Daniel, what the hell? 41 oh, years, you can only imagine, hey, 41 years of wrestling Brody and Blackjack, you can imagine how I feel about you being up here, <laughs> good lord, <laughs> good lord, <laughs> I'll move, yeah, here's, here's the greatest, Kurt Henning goes, you got to hear the story, so, <laughs> I gotta tell this story, it's the greatest. So Kurt, it's, no, so no, so, yeah, so, no, 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 I'll do it, Kurt. So Kurt Henning's new in the business, right? And we're in Kansas City, right? And I'm the champion, right? And uh, he's working with Harley, right? And uh, I'm doing Kurt now. Hey, Mr. Race. <laughs> what do you want to do for a finish? <laughs> Harley goes, what's your finish, kid? Kurt. Ah, uh, drop your coffee top rope. I'll, I'll move. move. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> I'll move. Kurt goes, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'll move. <laughs> Not no, iPads. Well, probably won't be far from the WWE. It's okay. Podcast. Okay. Podcast. Podcast. Okay. Boy, there you go. Sorry, remember, I can't work my... It's a new deal. It's a I can't work my cell phone, much less podcast. Stone Cold okay. Steve Austin Podcast. Podcast. Cast. Must need listen to her boy. boy and Stone Cold three hours over here in my room. Good luck with that one. <laughs> Woo! And Steve's bringing three cases of the beer. What the hell? I came looking for a couple of plugs for the show, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> no, I, I think we're turning your podcast heel. <laughs> and this has probably destroyed by what the career way, I had left. And by the way, I introduced Jim Ross to his wife. We go way back. Charleston, West Virginia. We were so drunk, we were all... <laughs> we, get, we, we got on the airplane. <laughs> hey, no, hey, Charleston, West Virginia, all, all night. We, 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 we get on the airplane, and I think the chick is hitting on me. She's hitting on him, right? Then she tells this joke, and... They're out of food, so Jim and I drank Bloody Marys for an hour and a half back to Atlanta. His wife is absolutely dropped dead gorgeous. But, I mean, she needs lens grafters, right? Let's, let's go with it, right? <laughs> let's get that figured out. Ric Flair in my prime, or him, are you shitting me? Uh, I was wrecked. <laughs> Good Lord. Yeah, I, I just know. saw her today. She's the greatest. I go, I go... How did that possibly happen? 22 years ago, Jim Ross, Nature Boy. I must have looked rough that morning. <laughs> Thanks, Rick. Yeah. <laughs> hey, can I, can I, can I have to break in for a minute? The oh, one boy, thing oh. in school that... Well, why, what the hell? Why not? No, because the guys will like this, right? At my age, I'm still, I'm ready to go. But I have a cosmetic issue, right? And I look like shit, okay? So... <laughs> Well, Good gen Lord. gentlemen, uh, can you imagine we're going to be in New Orleans for WrestleMania? That's a story in itself. Well, I'll, be, I'll, be a, I'll be with Stone Cold and Pat O'Brien's at 12 noon. Some of us will be <laughs> at New Orleans. I'm not sure all of us are going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's up to my ex-wife, I for sure won't. <laughs> Good Lord. Considering I've lost Nobody all... Nobody get married out here, please. It's overrated. If you're even entertaining the thought of your partner you're with tonight and you're thinking about getting married, throw it out. It's overrated. And don't live with her longer than the statute of limitations, okay? You gotta pay her anyway. Thank you, Dr. Phil. <laughs> Thank you all for coming and buy the game. It's awesome. Woo-woo!